one of the things that you've talked about before is fracking, and that's uh -huh. basically the practice of extracting uh, oil or natural, natural gas, natural I believe, gas. Yeah. out of out of rock. Yes. What's, yes. what's potentially dangerous about that? It's not really potentially dangerous. It's totally abused. I'm a former standard of Indiana research chemist for a short time. I don't know, maybe I must have been under the influence of whatever, but I did that. And I know that fracking works very well with finely ground sand and water only. Okay, number one. Suddenly they come up with tons of chemicals that are putting out fracking fluids. And nobody tells you what the fracking fluids are. Well, we found out through a few back doors what the fracking fluids are. And guess what I'm suggesting? That it's the chemical industry's way of disposing toxic chemicals. Right? And that was going on for quite some time. I had a lot of support from very important people. And a couple of weeks ago, major newspapers had a big expose. That, well, guess what? When chemical industry uh, has toxic chemicals that need to dispose of, for which they would have to pay dearly, they suddenly disappear somewhere. I mean, the, the person who comes and takes it up with a big tanker truck, right? I mean, they don't really arrive. What's happening to them? I mean, in my opinion, this is totally BS, right? I mean, they're doing this. They're dumping this in into our groundwater. But very deep, yes. But yet, it does not decompose. And in several areas, it's already made it into the regular drinking water. I mean, that is criminal what they're doing. Not only that, there are many other negative things associated. I mean, fracking the gas, natural gas, is touted as the clean fuel. It's, that's the biggest BS that anybody could think of. And I would like to challenge anybody out there to argue with me, and I'm saying that fracking, in terms of environmental risk, is worse than coal. Right? Now, let me tell you why. During the fracking process, about 3.6% of all the gas, and it's mostly methane, is lost into the environment. The amounts are humongous. Well, there's two major factors that contribute to environmental risk, climate change. That's CO2 and methane. Methane was always believed to be 23 times as bad as CO2. Well, a recalculation, and again, a Berkeley University, Professor Kirk Smith, Nobel laureate, a key person in that field. Methane is 72 times as risky as CO2. Okay? So you have, number one, the toxic chemicals. You have the methane, which is much more ris uh, risky. And number three, you are losing a lot of methane right into the environment, causing that. And there's a fourth factor. Anybody think about that, what that is? Well, you have humongous, powerful compression equipment that has to pump the chemicals and the water and the mixture down into the ground. What do they run on? Right? Sunshine? No, definitely not. They burn another. So if you add all these up, the risks are definitely, definitely worse than coal. And coal is the worst in terms of environmental risk factors. Right? And so <clears throat> the BS continues from top to bottom.